So the question is, what is going to change? For starters, brand advertising is going to become a lot more like search advertising. It's going to become contextual, it's going to become more real-time, and it's going to become more ROI-driven. From a consumer standpoint, the best advertising has always been as engaging as brands, has always been as engaging as content, my apologies. Within a decade, all advertising will be content, and the world will resemble Minority Report, where the ads follow you around, providing personalized information in real time. Also, as video, ad, as video formats like Snapchat, Vine, and others, and we talked about Periscope earlier, as these explode, the traditional 30-second ad format is dead. New formats will unleash new creativity, and marketers will increasingly promote user-generated content in lieu of professionally produced ads. In the rest of this presentation, I'm going to double-click on this broad thesis and try to lay out a roadmap for marketers on how they can begin to embark on this journey. This journey, in my mind, has really four key elements. The first of these is the, is the shift from placement to programmatic. All media buying, in my opinion, over the next decade, will move to programmatic media buying. This shift in dollars from traditional TV to internet video will fundamentally change the industry structure across media. And as this happens, upfronts will diminish in importance, and advertising, all advertising, will be bought in real time programmatically. If you're an advertiser here in this room, if you're a brand advertiser, I would say the first thing you need to think about is make a bet on an independent, programmatic media buying solution. You've got to find a way to begin to buy video across all channels, all content types, all fam formats, irrespective of who's watching it, where it's being watched, and in, in, in what format. And that first step will enable you to then begin to build on it by going from what we call open loop advertising to closed loop. All advertising, video advertising, and all advertising more broadly needs to make that transition. And with digital, for the first time, it's possible. Advertisers actually have the opportunity to connect viewers and engagement data with purchase data and close that loop. But that's hard. The data exists. All of these data pieces exist. But for almost all of you, those data pieces exist in different silos and in different formats. And what advertisers have to begin to do is to bring them together. This is a journey. And as the first step, you have to begin to connect the data you have from the media you buy to the various data sets you have within the corporation, whether it's CRM data or first party customer data. And as you begin to bring those data sets together, you can begin to build and test attribution models that will enable you to link your brand advertising to revenue. And once you do that, you can then begin to make the shift from being a shotgun approach to media buying, which is what most media buying, frankly, is, to a much more rifled and targeted approach. So that is the second piece of this. The third piece really is this notion that traditional marketing has always assumed a linear purchase path. We all grew up in marketing thinking about marketing as the, around the funnel being the model. In this new era, consumers make purchase decisions very differently. Ten years ago, if I were going to be buying a car, let's say I'd bought an Audi car, I would have probably started off that process by watching ads on TV. I would have then at some point in the process gone to a dealer, maybe even checked out ads in the newspaper for deals. I bought a car recently and I did none of that. I started my process on Facebook. I asked questions on Quora. At some point in that process, I did actually check out Kelly's Blue Book and a couple of websites. But eventually, I ended up buying that car on BP. Uh, which is an online marketplace for cars, entirely without ever engaging with Audi, the brand, or with any of the dealers. That purchase process, which for me was one, one particular path, is increasingly going to become the norm, with consumers making more and more decisions without ever engaging with the brand itself. And as consumers have these infinite paths to purchase, all of us as advertisers need to think about how do we create personalized customer journeys at an individual level that combine the video advertising that you offer with content and other ad formats across this journey. 
Instead of mass broadcast, you need to think about creating personal playlists for the tens of millions of consumers you attempt to reach. And with these, with these new platforms will come new creative rules. In the new world, advertisers need to think about creating amazing content, not just great advertising. This content needs to be personalized, and we talked a little about that, and then made available through the myriad of distribution channels that we've talked about at nauseum here and then in the previous session as well. This means that advertisers, all of us, need to begin to think about not thousands, but hundreds of thousands of pieces of content, hundreds of thousands of pieces of video content, and then over time even begin to experiment with personalizing those pieces of content to individual experiences. Traditional production approaches to creating content just don't scale. Advertisers need to embrace user-generated content and also need to figure out how to work with social media influencers, and we talked about Smosh as an example, to figure out how to integrate them both in the content creation process but also in the distribution process.